Alright guys, just want to make a quick video, um, no cam or anything, you know, and I'm pretty tired, so hopefully it's not too ranty. Um, but I saw a lot of, you know, people on Discord, on, on Reddit, etc., complaining about Echo and, um, how he's weaker now that he can't two Q and how it's, it's all over and this and that. And, uh, I just want to explain, like, why it's totally okay, right? And, um, okay, so... Does losing these two Q hurt? Yeah, of course, right. But he, but, but here's the thing, right? So uh, against a really good player, level one, you're going to lose that lane anyway, right? They're going to contest you for EXP range, and you're Echo level one. So it's not that much worse, like if you really think about it. The main thing that people have to realize, what you need to start doing, is you need to play like an absolute bitch your first three levels. Okay, after three, you go Q E Q. You can three, you know, uh, two Q again. Totally fine. And um, you won't have any issues, so you just have to get that far, right? So just get CS safely, right? Don't die. That's your new goal. Get to level three. You can get back to the normal, you know, good old-fashioned echo. But it's a buff. I mean, it's a huge buff because, and originally I was so against losing the 2Q. And now seeing the changes and seeing how everything worked out, I'm for it because, right, I was always arguing that he should have 2Q available to him because other controlly type mages, which is what I always considered an Echo, not a straight up assassin, other controlly type mages um, can wave clear and also have strong lanes, right? So it's like, okay, he at least needs to have this wave clear because you can get super fed and not one shot. Like, it's not as good as like other things like LeBlanc or whatever. Now, with the new runes and just how much damage you're doing in that mid game uh, and just your ability to one shot echo is like truly for the first time in my opinion truly an assassin right and because of that because of his ability to one shot it's now justified that he has a weaker early lane phase so just just keep that in mind think about it differently but this is the page i run i think it's the best i think dark harvest on echo is not very good unless you're playing like a tankier uh, off tank version in the jungle then it's totally uh, viable but it's just how echo trades is more of like an in and out and waiting on cooldowns and it's not nearly as efficient with dark harvest along with having the prerequisites and electrocute just being that much more damage uh sudden impact's amazing it's it's just disgusting on uh, on echo uh, eyeball collection, of course, is the best. And then Ravenous Hunter is actually insane. People sleep on how strong this is. So it gives you Spell Vamp, right? And Spell Vamp is such a disgusting, like, uh, just an overpowered stat that the only way to get it is to go through Gunblade, and the build path for Gunblade is pretty poor, right? This straight up gives you 15% for free just by playing the game, getting assists on, on enemy champions. So that's insane, and I think you'll start noticing that. It also, because this exists, uh, you have to be more careful about people rushing Baron because they can do Baron a lot healthier and, uh, like at the 20 minute mark because a lot of people are getting access to free lifesteal that they normally wouldn't have. So just be aware of that. Now you have some options, right? Uh, precision is never good as a secondary tree, in my opinion. You have the two options as resolve or sorcery as your secondary, right? And you can go resolve in super hard lanes where you want that magic resist or the armor. Um, this is very, demolish is very good for top lane, for uh, splitting, things like that. But in my opinion, if you can, like I said, you play safe, the first three levels, just don't die. Um, you go absolute focus and you go gathering. Uh, storm, right? Gathering Storm just give you more AP. And Absolute Focus is actually insane because, oh, it's only while you're above 70% health. But if you had to realize, if you, you know, obviously you guys have played Echo, how he trades, or uh, how he all ins even, is he's picking off his W. You go in, you've got a huge shield people can't burn through. You've done all of your, your damage, right? All your whole combo, your burst is coming out before you ever drop below 70%, right? And you're alting, you're healing back up above 70%. So these two are giving you, like, um, especially with my build, the Frost Queen's Claim Void Staff Death Cap build. Uh, at that, when you finish those three items, you're getting like legitimately 500 some AP. It's insane, which is also another reason why I think Electrocute's so overpowered because there's a huge AP ratio on it. Of um, how how much is it? It's 30% uh, AP, right? Plus the base damage. It's insane if you have a lot of AP. So I think my build, my Frost Queen's build, is even stronger now. I'm having a lot of success with it. Um, I can even show you, I played uh, like so many games today and I streamed a few of them. So if you want, you go over to my VODs, look up, I played two and really showed uh, the lane phase and how to how to play it. And uh, But yeah, no, th these two games I'm like super fucking tired and I didn't really feel like jungling, so I kind of like 
didn't do too well. And then this game, uh, we had some troll shit happen. But other than that, it's like just stomping every single game. Just like yeah, they're not even hard. And this is um, a D, this account's D three, but some of these games were like even all the way up to Masters. So it just depends. The, the games were anywhere from like if I just I'm just gonna click a random one. I have no idea. This one's D three D two, so you know mid diamond to high diamond to to low masters is where we were sitting around. Uh, what about Toxic Asol? I remember him. He's yes, he's masters. There's some master players in here too. So it's it's they're respectable games. They're not quite the elo that my main would get, um, but they're they're you know they're good games to be going twenty zero and four against a pantheon. Pantheon, uh, you know, um, Ramus. I don't know why I'm so tired, guys. Sorry, but. Um, so I'm having a lot of success with this. And what I do, and like I said, you can watch those videos, I go Doran's Ring, two pots, and I just try to farm out to 500 gold. I back, I buy a Dark Seal and a Refillable Potion to really just give you that oomph in lane, and I go and I get my Blasting Wand if I can afford it. If not, I get the uh, Spell Thieves and, like, Boots, for instance, like a Pink Ward. And, uh, yeah, just play on from there. So it's working really well for me. I even have a clip from the, uh, from the stream. Um... You guys might understand what I'm talking about. So in this situation, right, I only, you know, I'm not that fed. I'm 6'3", 3, and 13 minutes. So pretty, you know, fairly fed. This Master Yi is 6'1", okay? So same kills, less deaths. He's a level up on me. And just watch this damage. Never have I ever on Echo been able to one-shot somebody like this without having to hit alt? Before you always had to hit alt, now you don't have to anymore. Let's watch that one more time. You're actually an assassin. So I think there's a lot of gut reaction to, you know, oh, you know, my champion's weak or, you know, this, this or that, right? And I get it, and it's tough. Is it harder? Yes. Are you going to have to learn new things? Yes. Are you going to have to figure out how to make it work? Absolutely. But if you do, if you stick with it, if you learn how to just get through that lane phase and get to that mid-game power spike, you are going to have a stronger champion than you had last season. You can have a better chance of solo carrying your game. So just, just stick with it is what I'm saying. Um, it's very good. Uh, as far as other masteries and things people were like wondering about, none of the other ones are any good on Echo. And if you disagree, that's fine. We don't have to go into it. Um, I, st I, st I stick by it. There's not a single one on here that's good except for like Grasp the Undying for Tank. All of the other ones are bad. Um, Thunderlords all day. Thunderlords, Dark Harvest on a tank, or uh, Grasp on tank. But everything else, Thunderlords, even AP in the jungle, Thunderlords. Thunderlords is so good, and I personally like the uh, Sorcery Secondary Tree. You're going to have to learn how to play with it. You're going to be squish here. But I, you know, and it, I, I'm just telling you, I think I played two games um, on stream um, where you can go check that out. It's my most recent VOD. So hopefully some of this helped you guys. You know, hopefully this gets around on Reddit and people, you know, can just take a sigh, take a breath, realize it's the start of a preseason, and don't freak out. All right? Just explore, have fun with it, and uh, learn new things. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good one.